Okay, so now we have two methods for opening up a web browser and going to the URL specified by a user. The next thing that I am going to do is show you how to retrieve the HTML as well as the simple text from the web browser. And we'll start with method one. Method one, we're going to range K2, which is in this case we have Google currently entered. And what I'm going to do is to make life simple I'm going to start off with a user form and I'm just gonna add a text box and I'm gonna change the property so that this is a multi-line text box because by default it's just one line properties do multi-line equals true and I also want word wrap on and it's currently turned on perfect okay I'm gonna go back to my worksheet method one we're navigating, wait until ready state is complete, meaning the site has loaded. And I'm going to take off the message box and I'm going to put user form one dot text box one dot text equals and we're going to do sheet one dot web browser one dot document dot body and we'll start off with enter HTML. Enter HTML is going to return all of the markup and content within a given element and the other one that we're going to show you right now is enter text which only returns the text content within a given element for the entire document and here we'll do user form one dot show and so let's go on and set this up and we'll start off with clicking method one web page is going to go here and this is all the code that we have this is all of the inner HTML found within google.com the page that loaded up here so very messy and um, and we'll show you in a little bit how we can go through this data using string functions if you want something that's a little bit more pleasing to the eye I'm gonna close it out we'll do method one double click instead of having inner HTML we'll put inner text and watch what this does so now we have a more text that we can see here and if we can scroll through it you have search images video maps new shopping gmail more which all that as we can see is it's up here towards the top and I'll put us into design mode and I'm going to show you how we can do the same thing but without the web browser control and said we'll use method 2 method 2 was the same except that we didn't add a web browser control into our worksheet and I'm gonna double click method 2 and you'll see it's gonna be the same thing I'm just, I'm just gonna copy the code that we have up here I'm gonna put it down here here I have this blanked out but from earlier but this is pretty much the code that we're gonna use instead of sheet one dot web browser one it's gonna be internet window internet window dot document dot body dot inner text or enter HTML and we'll do user form one dot show once we have it set in the text box so let's play this out and there web page loads and here we have it user form one came up same results as before I'm gonna close that out that concludes this portion of the video and in the next video I'm going to to show you how we can use some string functions in order to query data from a website thank you for watching